Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really cool illustrated text. You can use it in logos, you can use it in banners, you can use it wherever you like. And uh, yeah, look, it looks really cool, it has this nice clean effect. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So before we get started, I'm going to show you guys that there's this, there's a, on defont.com, there's a theme that, well, the, um, there's a style of font that works really well with this style. So I'm going to have a link, I'm going to have this link in the description where you guys can see all of these fonts. There's 83 pages, so it's actually probably a bit more. Uh, I don't know, it's 83. So, <laughs> yeah, you can, I'm going to leave a download in, no, no, download, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys to go check out this page. You can download all of these fonts and you can just use them and see whatever looks best for you. And the one I'm going to be using is called Slant, which is right here. So, yeah, you can just download it from that link as well. So, um, let's get into it. So we have our text here and I'm just going to move this up because that is going to be the example. And uh, so we're on a new layer, it's the blank layer, it's got nothing on it. And we're going to go to our, our type tool which is over here. And we're just going to click and then anywhere on the artboard and then we can start typing our text. So we're just going to put slant just because that is the name of the font. Okay. And now we can just use our mouse tool and we can just resize it by dragging out like this. And by but you must make sure that you hold shift, otherwise it will like resize the proportions, and we don't want that. So just make sure you hold shift, and uh, yeah, should everything should be good. Uh, so yeah, that's how you uh, resize your text. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we can edit each individual corner. So if you wanted to make this T meet the end like we did here, we can do that. So to do that, we wanna press Command Shift and O. And now we can see all of these points. And you might actually see that the T is the well, um, the letters are made up of small individual shapes, and we don't want that. Not all fonts will be like this. So if you if, if your font is like this, then you'll need to fix it. So to do that, you just use your direct selection tool, and you're going to highlight the whole letter. And now we're going to use our Pathfinder, which is right here. So if you don't have our Pathfinder open, it's going to go to Window and then Pathfinder, which is right there. And so yeah, once you've selected all of the points on your T, you want to press this icon right here, which is the merge. And now we can see all of our our T is basically made up of all of one uh, path. And now we're just going to do that for all the letters that we see these that is made out of two points. I think the A is okay. Uh, let me just have a look. Yep. So we can see it's already one path. So we don't need to do anything to that. Uh, I know that we're going to have to edit the L. So let's just merge that as well and then the S is fine as well. Okay, so now we want to make this, kind of make it so like the T and the N join. So to do that we can just zoom in a little just so we can get a better view. We want to go to our direct selection tool and now we can click on the letter. And now once we clicked on the letter we have indirect, now we've selected all the points. Now we can click on the individual point that we want to edit. So now we can just drag that over to the side. And now that these two are in line, we can now select them both just by clicking and dragging and just make, putting it closer towards the towards the end. And you guys can mess around with that, you can do that as much as you like. And um, yeah, so we're just going to move that over a bit. Okay, so now we've done that, we've made, we've edited the letters, we make sure they're all in one path. And now we're going to add this arc that goes under. So to do that, we want to go to Effect, Warp, and then Arc Lower. Uh, all of these are really good, so you can mess around with them, see what works best for you. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to be using Arc Lower. And uh, yeah, we've messed around with the bend, see what looks good. So you might enjoy it going curving like this in this fashion, or you might like it going inwards like that. Uh, but for this tutorial, we are going to go for a minus 5, I think will look best. You can also edit this as well, but um, we're not going to be doing that for this tutorial. And yeah, so we just press OK, and now we have this arc that kind of goes under the text, but the top is unaffected. That was what the that effect really did. And now we're going to add our gradients and our coloring and stuff. So to do that, we're going to need our appearance tab, which is right here. And but to, before we do any of the colors and stuff, we need to select our text and then go to object and then expand appearance. And there we go. So that basically, it's. What, it, what, it, what that basically did is we could see that all our points, all our anchor points is where they were before we added the effect and by doing object and expand appearance it basically moves all the points to fit where the letters are now. So now we're going to add all the colours and stuff and to do that we're going to need our appearance tab. So if you don't have your appearance tab open you need to go to window and then appearance 
and now we're going to add a, a new fill so you just click on this icon right here and now we're going to click on gradient and uh, yeah so now we, we we need this gradient tab open there's a lot of tabs you're going to need to open uh, but you might already have them open so if you don't have this gradient tab open just go to window and then it's a gradient which is right here uh, it might be behind one of these so you might just need to have a look around for it and uh, yeah so now we're going to make sure now we're going to add all our points so we're going to have we're gonna, by default we're going to have two points on either side well one point on either side and then we're going to make two points in the middle just like that all you need to do is click under the bar and then that will make points just as easy as that and uh, so now what we're going to do is we are going to click on our first point and we're going to make it an offset white and yeah that looks good and now we're going to make the other side so just double click on the point to edit it and we're going to make it the same offset white so i think this was two percent and uh, this one is also two percent okay that's good so now what we're going to do is we're going to pick our right anchor point the right middle one we're going to double click on it to edit it, we're going to change the to grayscale, so to do that you're just going to click on the icon in the corner and just change it to grayscale and then it will change this. Uh, we're going to make this kind of a grey, uh, I think a dark grey will look good, yeah okay, okay that's cool. And now we're going to make this kind of a lighter grey, again we need to change it to grayscale and just kind of a light grey. And now we're going to move the points as close together as we can, because the closer they are together then the more sharp it's going to look. And uh, if they are too far apart, you'll see like a kind of blur in the middle, and we don't really want that. So yeah, we're just gonna move them as close together as possible. And uh, there we go. It looks really cool like that. And we have, we've got this nice clean effect. So now we need to add the stroke. So to do that, we're gonna go back to our appearance. And so we've got our appearance here, and we're gonna click on the stroke icon, which is right here. So just click on that, and uh, it might add the stroke to the top right here. So it's, if you we don't you we don't want it there. So we can have to click and drag downwards so it goes below our fill and there we go it's perfect and now we can just increase the stroke just like that and it looks really cool if you can see that the T like you can see the stroke from the T kind of cutting the L and uh, you don't really want that you can just go to your your, um, your move tool your selection tool and um, you just double click on it double click on the on the text and then you can just move it over a little and yeah but it's going to be fine because we're going to be adding another stroke and we'll see that come through and it doesn't look that bad so yeah there's just a, a side tip for you guys if you do see like a cutting through and you don't really want that that's how you get rid of that and now we're going to add this other uh, this other stroke so to do that we make sure that we're going to select our text and now we're going to click on our stroke here and just click uh, the stroke add new stroke icon again we click on our bottom one and just increase the stroke even more and now we can actually change the color and for the stroke we're going to have a gradient so you can see on the example our stroke um, our, lot, our final stroke kind of goes from a, a gray to a, an offset white so we're going to do the same thing here so once we've added our stroke we've increased the pixels or the points I mean and uh, we can just click on this gradient tool again like we did before and now we can see it kind of remembers the old gradient you can keep it like that although I don't really like it like that so to Edit. So to change it, we just need to go to our our gradient tab that we had uh, that we had op had open earlier, and we need to get rid of these points. So to do that, you just want to click on them and drag downwards, and it will delete them for you. And uh, now we're going to make one of the points a, a grey, just like we did in the example, and then we're going to make the other one an offset white. And there we go. That looks really cool. And um, we can still increase the strokes and things, and uh, just to mess around with it. See what looks best. I think we need to make this a bit lighter, the grey for, for the last stroke. And yeah, okay, that looks really cool. So that's basically how I do this text tutorial, guys. If you did enjoy it, then leave a like. Don't forget to tweet anything that you've made of me as a result of this tutorial. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.